Welcome to the Tea of Life podcast, where our mission is to transform every attitude of life by encouraging and equipping you to live the life you love and love the life you live. I am your host, Tiffany Thompson. I am so excited to be with you today. Um, I know it's been a few weeks since we have chatted, and I apologize about that. But um, with Thanksgiving and just some other things going on, it has been a little difficult to get behind the mic. However, I am making time to do that right now. Absolutely going to um, talk to you guys for the next few minutes. This podcast today is probably not going to be that long, so you're welcome. Um, But I do have some ideas of some things coming up. I wanted to just touch base with you today and just remind you that the holidays are here. Just in case you didn't know that. Yeah, just letting you know the holidays are here. Hey, newsflash, Thanksgiving was last week. And um, in case you missed it. And we have Christmas coming up in, oh my goodness, what, three weeks away? I can't even believe that I'm saying that. Three weeks So, are you ready? Not to stress you out, not to uh, put a little pressure on you, but I hope that you are at least thinking about Christmas. And with thinking about Christmas, sometimes that puts a joy in our heart, and sometimes it does not. Sometimes Christmas and the holidays can make us feel warm and fuzzy. Um, A lot of people like to celebrate with food and entertainment and maybe going out and seeing the Christmas lights and it's cold outside and it's cozy. We can snuggle up by the fire. You know, it's kind of like here in Georgia, it's kind of like, yay, it's it's winter, like it's the marking of winter. Even though sometimes it doesn't feel like winter, right now it does. But sometimes at Christmas time, it doesn't. So it's kind of like the marking of that. Some people enjoy just getting together for holiday parties and um, maybe getting together as the family and drinking hot chocolate and decorating the tree. I know when I got married, my thought was that every Christmas we would all, you know, get around the tree and sing Christmas songs and decorate the tree together and drink hot chocolate and maybe even watch Christmas movies and snuggle up. Yeah, that doesn't always happen. In fact, I'm not really sure if it ever has happened. This year, we are trying to make a point for it to happen, and we've done a little bit better with that. So it's been good. But on the contrary, I do realize that there are some out there who may struggle during Christmas time or during the holiday time. And it could be for a number of different reasons. It could be because you're suddenly stuck with a realization that you don't have the finances to make it through the holidays. Or maybe you realize that that certain somebody is going to be coming into town and you really don't want to see them. Or maybe people that you know are no longer with us and no longer here living on this earth with us. And you miss them dearly. Um, Four years ago, we suddenly lost my dad to a tragic accident, and that's been difficult. Throughout the holidays, you know, we, we start to remember the ones that are no longer with us. And, um, you know, Brandon, he lost his mom to cancer a few years before that. And, you know, it's been tough. So there are those who are out there who maybe this season does not bring, bring joy. Maybe it brings a lot of heartache. And I want to let you know that you are not forgotten, that you are important, that you are significant, that you deserve to celebrate this holiday just like anyone else. And even though you have the heartache that you have or the feelings of loneliness that you have, I just want you to know that you are not alone. And, you know, I can tell you too that, you know, these past few weeks that um, that we've been getting ready for the holidays and, and celebrating Thanksgiving, especially last week, celebrating Thanksgiving, it brought a lot of memories up for me and some new things that I actually ended up having to deal with. And 
I haven't shared my story. I will in time. I think I share a little bit here and there throughout the different podcasts, but we all have heartache and we all have disappointment. And anyone out there who is starting to celebrate the holidays or maybe not celebrate the holidays, but are dreading the holidays, I just want you to know that you are loved. God loves you. You are significant. You are here because God preordained you to be born. He knew your name before you were ever even conceived in your mother's womb. He loves you, and He wants to celebrate this season with you as we celebrate Jesus' birth. That is the reason for this season, (laughs) not to have a silly cliche, but it is the reason. And Jesus wants you to know that He was born into this world for you, and He died on the cross for you. And my biggest desire is for you to have the joy in your heart to love the life that you're living and to choose that joy and to seek after it and chase after it, just like Jesus is chasing after you. And I want you to make sure that you find some joy in this holiday season, something to be happy about, something to be joyous about. If there's a passion that you have that you want to fulfill, that you want to chase after, maybe now is the time to do that. Maybe it's time for you to say no to celebrating Christmas with some of the people who maybe bring you down, or maybe say no to seeing some of the people who are constantly life-sucking for you. It is not mandatory that we spend time with those people. It's not mandatory that we spend time with anyone who does not lift us up, who we don't walk away from feeling better than we did when we first went to them. And if there is somebody in your life that is like that, I just want you to know that you have the freedom to to create boundaries during this holiday season and to say, you know what? I'm not going to spend as much time with you or any time with you during this holiday season because I don't feel joy and happiness when I walk away from you. And I think that like for the past week or so, that's kind of what I've been feeling. And it's kind of sucked. And it makes me not want to do this podcast, to be honest with you. It makes me not want to be your cheerleader. It makes me not want to get on here and say, hey, you can do these things and love your life when I am in a situation to where I feel like I am being beaten down myself. But I know that that's not what God has for me, and I know that that's not the purpose of this podcast. In fact, I've been writing out the purpose of this podcast and trying to um, kind of reestablish the the things that God had put on my heart in the beginning for this podcast. I think that I kind of went a little bit off track. Um, so I'm kind of bringing it back in. And I'm excited to share those things with you. I think maybe the next podcast um, that I release will actually have some of the reasons that I want to pursue this podcast with you. But I just want you to know that you are able to love your life. I believe with all my heart that is God's desire for you. I know that there was sin in the Garden of Eden and the pleasures and the paradise of this world, as God intended, was taken away from us because of sin. But I don't think that that changed God's heart for us. I just think it changed our circumstances. I feel like God's heart for us is still that He wants us to love the life that we're living. He does not want us to be miserable. And so because of that, I feel like I want to encourage you to create the life that you love to live. And that can mean so many different things to so many different people. And if you need to start during this holiday season 
creating the life that you love to live by maybe not seeing some of the people who don't allow you to do that, or maybe some of the people who suck the life out of you so that you don't have the ability to love your life or the ability to create the life that you love to live, or maybe they suck the finances out of you so you don't have the finances to create the life that you love to live. Maybe they suck all your time away so you don't have the time to create the life that you love to live. Maybe they suck away all your emotions so that you don't have the emotional capacity to create the life that you love to live. I don't believe that that's how God intended for us to live. I don't believe that that's how God intended for you to live, no matter your circumstances. So this is short and sweet. Like I said, you're welcome. But I just wanted to encourage you today that you can do it. You can make it through this holiday season. You can love it and you can come out of it joyful and not exhausted. You can come out on the other side feeling refreshed and excited maybe for the new year or excited maybe even for next Christmas because you see, oh my goodness, how much better this Christmas was. I am going to work even harder to make it better next Christmas. So I'll leave you with this. Love your life. Love the holiday season. Love yourself enough to create some boundaries around yourself. And I will see you next time. Thank you for listening to Tea of Life Podcast. If you like Tea of Life Podcast and you have two friends who want to create the life that they love to live, tell them about us. Find us on your favorite social media platform like Facebook or Instagram. Also, right now before you forget, go to Apple Podcasts or Google Play and search for Tea of Life Podcast. Hit the subscribe button and never miss an episode. Thank you for listening to Tea of Life Podcast. Podcast.